When Paul talks about in 1 Corinthians, love is patient, love is kind, love doesn't put on airs. Love is a decision. Uh, Frank and I met online uh, through Bumble. Uh, funny story is my sister, Tuweri, felt bad for me being single, got sick of hearing me complain about how hard it is to date, and she took matters into her own hands and snuck and created a profile for me on Bumble. <laughs> I think we kind of both said it at the same time. Like we, we was in that, yeah, it was one of those little magical moments. We were sitting by the fireplace and all that stuff. So uh, it was like, I want to say I let it, but it, we we both kind of coming at the same point. Oh uh, yeah, it was it was the feeling was mutual. <laughs> yeah, the feeling was mutual. Frank, I could tell felt it first, and so I was trying to coax him to say I love you first. And being the lovable, stubborn person that he is, he actually tricked me <laughs> into saying it first. We were just hanging out and the way that he was acting and looking at me, I could sense that it was growing into more than just an attraction of love. Um, I, I could just sense it. <laughs> she gave me peace. She my, she my second self. Uh, she made things a little easier. I love how sweet Frank is. It, at times it seems like he's not listening to me and then he'll turn around and surprise me with the most thoughtful, generous gesture or gift. Well, I praise the Lord to pretend to be a man that a woman gonna want as a, as a husband. And I started changing things about myself. And uh, through doing that, I started uh, really starting to understand what is my purpose and through that, you know, my wife, when I met her, it was like, I knew. It sounds cliche, but I knew really early on that he was the one. And it was just, again, when I realized that our love was growing and thought about my life without Frank, that I realized that I wanted to spend the rest of my life with him. Frank, I just want to let you know that I love you so much. Dear Barrel, man, I love you. Thank the Lord for you. I appreciate everything that you are. You've helped me fulfill my purpose to get on. I thank you for every day that you spend with me. I thank you for loving me. I ask the Lord to prepare me to be a husband, prepare myself to be wanted by a woman who's ready for that. The Lord heard my prayers, everything I could ask for, and then some. Bestow favors for me. So I was able to stay on the right path. And I thank you for the Lord for you. And I look so forward to continuing to grow and build our life together. I look forward to our future together. I look forward to bringing children in this world and many as the Lord gonna allow us to have. I ask the Lord to give me the strength to lead. I ask the Lord to watch over you, to give you the strength to understand, for us to have understanding, for us to gain the knowledge and wisdom that we stay strong with our bond. Forever grateful. Thank you, Lord. We're all called to love. And love is what lasts. We're not perfect. And that is why Paul goes on to say, love is not quick-tempered. It doesn't brood over injuries. It bears all things and believes all things and hopes all things, endures all things. Love never fails. Love is not a feeling that comes and goes, but it's a commitment and a decision that you have to make every day of your lives. Bone of my bones and flesh of my flesh, this one shall be called woman, for out of her man this one has been taken. Join your hands and declare your consent before God and His church. I, Frank, take you, Beryl, to be my wife. I, Beryl, take you, Frank, to be my husband. I promise to be faithful to you. In good times and in bad. In sickness and in health. To love you and to honor you. All the days of my life. All the days of my life. What God joins together, let no one put asunder. Beryl received this ring. Frank received this ring. As a sign of my love and fidelity. In the name of the Father. And of the Son. And of the Holy Spirit. 
I'm happy to announce to you Mr. and Mrs. Frank Anthony Smith, Jr. Frank, you may kiss the bride. When I was a little girl, we were, me and Beryl were in summer school together. And um, I had this friend guy. Now he was teasing me. She didn't know he was just playing, but he was like, hey, you want some of this? You want some of that? And out of nowhere, Beryl comes up and says, you want some of these fists? <laughs> Frank is not just my, my brother. Frank is like my child. Um, since our mother and father has been deceased, it's like I have stepped up in Frank's life. I say, how many are you going to introduce me to? <laughs> <laughs> and it's over. And see, when I met, when he brought my girl, Right. And we talk, and he ain't gonna know what we talked about. But in secret prayer, I'm here today. And when I make 88, 85, I'm gonna challenge you and leave you with this. He'll never fail you, he'll never leave you. And people need people. People have things to say about teachers and the money and all this stuff, but I'm gonna tell y'all, you can't pay me for why I'm here today. This is my paper. Frank, thank you. Beryl, you are a beautiful woman. I wasn't at the house when you came to meet to meet me, but I will say this, knowing him, I know he's doing it in excellence. And I see you and I see excellence. I see both of you. I see black excellence. As friends, we know how to press those buttons. And he was able to press those buttons, challenge me, and get me to be vulnerable and understanding and, and being a loving uh, man, and husband, and father, and so on and so forth. Uh, he was there for me. He always made sure I was all right mentally. He always challenged me to be better. And I can't say that, um, Miss B, you got a better man, like for real. I, I seen this man grow. Some stories earlier that was said. <laughs> Every time Frank used to come down to the city, it was like, all right, I'll see you. You know, Frank, I'm so proud of you, man. You know that thing. And I love you from the bottom of my heart to five foot right here. Five foot five. He's a good dude. He's a good dude. I appreciate it. I'm so proud of you, Beryl, for what you have become and where you're going. Because you share things with me that leads me to believe you're a woman of God. Frank, you went fishing. And you <laughs> caught one of the best fish in the ocean. Yes. Uh, when I went fishing, I caught a good fish. <laughs> um, I pray for your hearts. I pray for your marriage. Um, just make it a competition. Who can go out of um, your way the most to be there for each other? And when you when you just dial it out, and when things come in your way, don't go to family. I'm a family member. Don't go to family. Go to God. Go to God about it. And he's the one that's going to give you the answer for it. And that will put Frank and put on your marriage. You know what I'm saying? Congratulations to you both. I'm always here for you if you need me. Um, you know, and I'm going to say thank you for allowing me to be a part of this, this occasion.
we grow. We, we, ain't, we ain't young. So, you know, from now here to forevermore, that's my responsibility, and I'm gonna hold it down. I want to put my life on the line for my wife. Now, with that being said, you also gotta understand, I'm willing to kill too now. I love my family, I love the people that support, but you already know, 